Don't wait for tomorrow. Gentlemen, welcome to another JK's Deal Reveal, and I hope uh, we are going to be here in large numbers. One, because I think there's some technical glitches on the other side, but I do see you there, Sue. Thanks for joining in, and I hope our guest speaker for the evening is going to join us soon as well, because Matisse um is going to reveal hopefully fingers crossed his property today and so that's very very exciting nice to see you as well nancy coming in here uh to our deal reveal so uh, i guess i'll uh, take a little bit of time to let you know that we have been working extremely hard and we are going to continue working extremely hard uh well forever but between now and the end of the year specifically because we have some big big um giveaways and um, deadlines that we want to meet for you as we launch this community to the next level together and i do want to remind you that if you're not already a jk ambassador you can still secure your spot because as of 2024 and 2025 and 2026 it's going to change radically and so this is the chance to jump in what is what does a jk ambassador get they basically get everything that we have recorded all of the programs the 25 plus programs on different topics how to find deals how to evaluate deals um, all about property management short-term rentals the, D the diy method uh, dyi method no diy um, short-term rentals on the luxury scale uh, financing for foreign nationals asset protection accounting Every topic you have that you can think of, multifamily manifestation, the mindset of millionaires, the um, overcoming obstacles. We, we've got a program for all these things, setting your goals for the year, following through with them throughout the year. This is all part of programs that we have created over the years. It's all included in the JK um, Ambassador Program. And... Um, if you're not a part of it or you have any questions, you can certainly uh, reach out to us. And uh, how do you do that? Info at jkrealestatepartners.com. So I still don't see Matisse on here, which is unfortunate. I don't want to reveal his deal without him. But ultimately, uh, Matisse is, uh, I guess we'll have to schedule him for next week and I'll have to think on the fly. Or maybe this is an opportunity for you. If you've got a deal that you'd like me to look at right now in the next 30 seconds, you can just post up in the Q&A, uh, post the address that you have. Hey, I don't think we've ever done this live, but this is an opportunity for you. Nice to see you, Freddie. If you've got a deal or Rocco or Sam, uh, by all means, just submit it in here. Let's take a look at it because Ms. Matisse is missing. Uh, his chance to reveal his duplex that he purchased not very long ago, only a few weeks ago, and I know his renovations have begun, a duplex for under $60,000 in Cleveland, and he was going to tell us about this whole story. So if you've got an address you'd like me to, to do a deal reveal on, that's fine. We can do that. Otherwise, um, we could also spend a minute to talk about... Uh, our newest property, and well, yes, we launched the board game house last week. That's pretty exciting. I can show, uh, I'll show a couple of pictures if Metsis and nobody else uh, shares any address. Well, well, we'll look at that, take a look at it. Um, and ultimately, tomorrow, we're closing on another duplex. And we were supposed to close on two properties tomorrow, but one, the financing and the bank are causing some delays, and so um, that'll be pushed to uh, to next week. But ultimately, things are rocking and rolling. Uh, we're closing deals. We're wrapping up deals. The community's getting their deals. It's a very, very exciting time to jump in, and so I hope you have got a handful of deals cooking in negotiations, and if not, what you waiting for? All right, so... 
I still don't see anything in the Q&A, so I'm going to start slowly pulling up our, well, Cleveland's best game house, and we can do a quick analysis. We can take a quick look, and that'll be the deal reveal for today. I will also say, actually, that I spent half of my day in the bank today. So here's another little mini deal for everyone. Uh, I was trying to um, forge a relationship for the community with Chase Bank, which is a very good bank for Americans. But after two full half days yesterday and today, I must say that um, it would not be a recommendation for the community unless you have a social security number or, or residency in the States, which... Yes, Janie and I uh, now do, but that's not for most people's situation. And unfortunately, it's going to be a pretty big barrier um, to entry for someone getting started. Um, so that's what we have. Okay, let's see here. One last chance, nothing in the Q&A. All right, here we go. So let's take a look at Cleveland's Board Game House Unleash the Player. Now, this is a property that is locally located in Cleveland on the west side in a neighborhood called Clark Fulton, but it's still Cleveland. And Clark Fulton is one of those areas where, um, not the best in general, but it is an area that is bordering Tremont and Ohio City, which are two of the best areas in Cleveland. And so it's right on the fringe. And because of that, the prices, you know, Cleveland in general is just, you know, booming. It's it's picking up. It's picked up over the last couple of years, uh, actually over the last decade. And a property like this, even five years ago, would have probably been picked up for about $50,000. Single family home. Officially, it's a two legal bedroom, but really there's four rooms four bedroom rooms that could be put in this property and you're going to have uh you're going to check out the layout in just a minute but because it's an airbnb we're able to use non-legal bedrooms as bedrooms or as a what you're going to see a board game treasure trove so we get full functional value out of the four walls and the roof and the doorway and um, that's pretty awesome. So suddenly we can do something with two bedrooms, which typically you don't want to invest often in for long-term rentals simply because of um, you know, resale value and less desirability. You cater to smaller families with their higher turnover rates. But short-term rentals by default is high turnover rate. So we're leaning into the right um, strategy for the right property. So, um, that. so we're on the border of Ohio City and Tremont. We purchased this property. It was actually a member of our community, of the JK community, that bought this property for under 100000 did a little bit of work to it, and flipped it, all right? Flipped it to us. We bought this property because we believed in that location. And we bought this property for $130,000, right around that range, which is very high um, for our average. Uh, it was basically turnkey. On, on then what we did, we did a few little patches. We actually added a half bath. Um, because there's nine people that sleep here, nine guests can sleep here. And so the one full bath it had, and it did have another full bath in the basement, but you know, we didn't want to put money in the basement. So another half bath on the main floor makes a whole lot of sense for nine people potentially staying in the property. So we bought it for 130 and then we just did our theming, you know, we put our 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 twist on it. And it is game board themed, if you didn't get that so far. And so this room is candy, Candyland, all right? So we have a triple Becker bunk bed for the kids. And we got the Candyland um, game board happening with some pictures and stencils. We have our risk room, right? We see the cannon, the cannonballs, the, 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 the uh, cavalry, uh, and the militia happening here. And this is a full wall map of, of the world. And then we have our clue room with all the all the you know, the the pipe wrench, the candlestick, uh, the uh, uh, the the rope, right? All the all the, the traditionals with um, the fingerprint and the magnifying glass. We got some scrabble words. Welcome to Cleveland game house right with all the scrabble and if you zoom in you also see the you know these are the official points ranking of scrabble 
Then we have an, an accent wall on the way in, which we love doing. We love, love doing. And uh, just got an update. Thank you, uh, Romel JK team, um, that he, uh, he he wasn't able to log in. So um, so it'll have to go to to next week if, uh, if if that's the case. Yeah, he's still not in the room yet. So we're going to continue on here. So as soon as someone walks into one of our short-term rentals, regardless of where it is, in Cleveland, in Canada, in Florida, um, we want the first impression to be a wow. And as they walk in, they walk right into this living room and they see this accent wall, which, almost, which has about 100 board game boards that this this wall is made up of actual board game boards. And so that makes a really cool first impression. You see how another look at it here and there. And you, of course, we have a nice piece of furniture, really, uh, with the chess and checkers happening there. We've got our Monopoly and the game room, right, with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of games right in there. All right. We have the half bath that we added with um, a little tic-tac-toe with some toilet paper rolls happening there. <laughs> so if you want to play a game while on the toilet, hopefully it's a solo game, but uh, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> um, just in the hallway, we have a snakes and ladders display um, in the property. Guess what room this is and this is, right? This you might not see it too well, but it's... Uh, it's a, a soldier with a helmet on, right? So probably the risk room is behind that door. And here we have the crime scene, do not cross, for the clue room, right? The murder mystery room. There we go. So clue with the game on display for you there. Oh, and this is in the clue room as well. You got one of those, you know, um, detective and clues and connecting strings and all that's happening there with some extra decor. To, to match the theme a horse lamp you know the risk game is in the corner there you know having a right on good time and then the candy land right with some candy and uh, there's actually some uh there's a, there was a, a few other final last minute touches that are not in these pictures but it gives you a right good idea so we've launched this property um, a little over a week ago now, we're probably up to about a dozen bookings in the calendar. So it's a hit. We're excited. And um, the bookings, I mean, it's still slow season. I mean, November and it is a new listing. And so the bookings are coming in at 80 to $125 a night. We're pretty much in that range right now. And uh, but it, the goal here is to get those five star reviews. And I think we're up to four or five five star reviews already. And that's what's going to obviously create the momentum and create the deal because it's not when it's short term rental is a hospitality business. So it's not just about having the property. It's also the service that comes around and your real success is going to come over time to uh, to become a force to be reckoned with in in Cleveland as one of the premier short term rentals that that are offered. Um this property is uh, just about five minutes away from the Tabletop Cafe in Ohio City, which is a board game cafe. They've got actually more board games than us. They have over a thousand. We're right around a thousand. They've got another thousand. And people can go there to have fun or have a beer, have a tea and so forth and uh, just have a good time. And so you can be sure that there's already the workings of a partnership um with uh, with brady one of the owners of of the tabletop cafe that i met only about a month ago not even and so fingers crossed for that particular partnership as well so hopefully you're enjoying it. it's a different type of deal reveal i was put on the spot here um wasn't expecting to do this right now but hopefully it, it gives you a good idea so we bought it for 130 we probably put in about twenty thousand to make it nice and and clean it up maybe 25 um, I don't have the final full numbers. Um, it's probably worth about 180 what right now, based on comparables. It's going to pull from Tremont. Yeah, so we're not that much at a discount because we all we ultimately did buy a pretty turnkey as well. But the goal here is really for cash flow to really stand out to to have another amazing short term rental in the portfolio. And this property, if it was rented out to a long-term tenant, maybe you could command about $1,300, $1,400 in rent per month. And I mean, we can do the quick deal reveal uh, style for this property. So if 
if we say we get 14 a month, 12 months a year, 50% expense ratio, you know, 8,400 a year gross. Um, and if we're in it for 130 plus, let's say 30 to be conservative, in it for 160, you can see that that's only a five cap. Um, so not tremendously strong from a cash on cash return. However, if we are going to double that income, right, if we're aiming for about $100 a night um, or say 3000 uh, a month, which we are aiming for on this property, this is about a $3,000 a month property, hopefully more, but that's kind of the numbers we're rolling with. Because yes, in low season right now, we're getting 85 to 125. It's not booked 100% of the month, but pretty close to, I mean, we're aiming for that. But in this high season, in the summer, this probably could very well book for 100, 150, 200, 250, and maybe on the rare occasion up to $300 a night. And so that's what's going to pull an average of maybe right now during slow season, we're close to 2020 or 2,500. And in high season, hopefully we can get up to the $5,000 a month to average it out three conservatively. So let's say 3,000 a month, um, 36 a year. And now if we're in it for that 160, I mentioned, well, suddenly we're in the 20 cap range. And so I think it's worth 170 to 180 we're in it for about 160 and um we're in the 20 cap uh range oh i sorry you caught me here um 36,000 is gross right that doesn't make sense we still need to bring it back down on the net so if 36,000 3,000 a month 12 months a year that's 36,000 um gross we still do need to fit, factor it down there are expenses to pay cleaners taxes insurance so 18,000 on a 160 all-in investment, we're closer to an 11 cap. So sorry about that uh, quick typo. 11 cap um, on a short-term rental, we're buying with a small discount. And the goal here is to have a, um, um, a cash flow, of course, but it's to, to have a portfolio of short-term rentals and together boost the entire portfolio. So that 36,000 a year is the low end, is the conservative number. Because every dollar we make above 36,000 is basically pure cash flow. So if we make 40,000, that's four extra thousand, that's pure cash flow a year. Just that is, you know, an extra $350 a month in cash flow. So that just the extra cash flow could be three times what another property could do. That's just the extra cash flow. So the point here is an 11 cap in a short term rental could be a very high cash flow activity property. So we're buying at a small discount. We are buying in a quote unquote better part of town, a part of town where property values we expect to continue going up because they're on the fringe of some excellent parts of town where a single family is three, four hundred thousand um, dollars. So over time we do hope to hit over the two hundred thousand dollar mark in value, but the cash flow is really the name of the game. So with that being said, I ended up doing a deal reveal uh, for our own property here. Is this a deal or no deal for you? We're above a 10 cap. We're buying with a small uh, small discount on purchase. And uh, we add another short-term rental, themed short-term rental to our portfolio. All right, wonderful. I got one thumbs up. That's fantastic. And uh, there we have it. A little bit of uh, exterior home decor, and voila, there we have it. So if you like this, and uh, I hope you do, we've got more coming in Cleveland. We're almost launched our uh, rock and roll uh, short-term rental, and um, we have a, 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 a color, a color me happy theme that's happening. The, the duplex that we're closing tomorrow is probably going to be a very simple pet theme, dog themed, because it's right beside Cleveland's huge doggy beach on the west side in Edgewater Park. And, um, oh, we also have the, the sports theme. That's, uh, that's about, about halfway through right now. The exterior is pretty much completed. Now we're going to go on the inside. And, uh, you know, it's, there's a ton of opportunity. There's a ton of deals. And we're excited for you to join in on that action as well. So. If you want to learn how to do this, right, the short-term rental or the long-term rental, Cleveland, U.S., you name it, right, 
Uh, Better and Bastard will get it at the all-time low price now at 999 and you get everything that we have created up to this point. And for, for as long as you are an ambassador, you will continue getting everything that we that we uh, we create. And so with that said, that is our deal reveal for this evening. We hope, but uh, I hope to reveal your deal next week, like Metsis should have been on today. And um, until next week, this is your opportunity to do now for tomorrow. Have a great one, everyone. Enjoy your evening.